Hey, my name is Nick Dinopoulos and I'm the Artistic Director of the Australian Boys Choir in Melbourne, in Australia. It's fantastic to be here in Europe. We're having a wonderful time and it's uh, absolutely amazing to be back in Europe after nearly 30 years. Uh, it's 30 years ago the Australian Boys Choir toured uh, to Europe. Uh, the choir is 80 years old next year. Uh, the Australian Boys Choir is founded in 1939. So this is an old choir in Australia, but in Europe it's not very old, but we have a very proud history nevertheless. And what can I say? Uh, we have been training thousands of boys over eight decades to be excellent in music and excellent in singing, and we have a great source of pride uh, to be not only excelling in performance, but to be training singers from the age of six or seven, uh, to bring them up through the ranks of the choir and to help them to be the best musicians they possibly can be. The training structure of the Australian Boys Choir is quite unique in Australia. We start with boys at age six or seven and they have a probationary period and uh, I suppose when they're ready they move to the next level of the choir. There are four training levels, four steps to get to the main performing choir which we call the squad. Not all boys are selected for every performance so they are motivated to achieve uh, and it can take as long as three or four years to reach this high standard. Uh, always the question in boys choirs is what happens when the voice changes so we have a number of choirs also for cambiata voices and for more settled voices uh, teenage voices and also we have a choir for adult voices uh, the choir of adult voices is called the vocal consort about 20 to 24 singers uh, all very fine musicians and most of them have been boys in the choir but uh, also on tour with us this year in Europe we have members of the Kelly Gang, uh, aged 13 to 17 and their voices are still settling but they are also wonderful musicians and have a good level of proficiency. We have a joke in Australia, uh, the Ned Kelly, the very famous bush ranger, uh, this choir is not named after Ned Kelly but after the founder of the Australian Boys Choir, Vincent J. Kelly, who started the choir in 1939. So the Australian Boys Choir embarks upon a substantial concert series in its home base in Melbourne, Australia every year. Uh, a number of concerts but we also tour regionally around Australia and the state of Victoria and every two years, every two to three years, we will undertake a major international tour um, such as the one we're doing here in Europe this year. At home our concerts, uh, obviously we are not a religious choir, we are a secular choir but the repertoire of the choir is built around the finest European Western music. Uh, we believe uh, we also train the children according to the Kodai methodology. So like Kodai we say only the best music is fit for children and certainly uh, uh, we have sung in the Thomaskirche in Leipzig a few days ago the Motet Jesu meine Freude, so this is a great example of what the boys can do. But also on tour uh, we brought with us a key part of our repertoire which is contemporary new Australian music which is very exciting for us to be able to introduce this repertoire which we love so much to European audience as well. Composers like Joseph Twist, Sarah Hopkins, my predecessor Noel Ansell and many others. It's, it's wonderful to see the reaction of the European audiences to this sometimes slightly different repertoire. Hi my name is Josh and I'm 14 years old. I've been in the whole institute for nearly nine years now and yeah, yeah, I've been the performing choir for four years and this is my third tour. Um, hi, my name is David, I'm nine years old. I've been in the whole choir, the institute for four years. I've been in the performing choir for one, for almost one year. Um, it's good to be in the choir and I like representing Australia and its talents and this tour has been good so far and singing with some very famous choirs. In the performing choir, David's actually the youngest member and I'm actually the oldest, so yeah. Yep, so, yeah. Oh, I like the classical music. I like performing Bach. Yeah. Bach's my favourite composer. And I, and I like um, 
foreign language music, like, yeah. we're, because I like learning different languages, it's good. Mm -hmm. Like, say, we're singing Jesu Meine Freude right now, which I believe lasts for 21 minutes. And then it's in German? Yeah, it's in German. Yeah. Then we're also singing a Mozart Mass, which I'm not exactly sure how long it goes for, but it's also in German. It's in, no, it's in Latin. Oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. yeah, we sing a whole range of variety of yeah. different languages. In different languages, and we sing. We're singing a song called Pemulwuy. Um, Pemulwuy was a an Aboriginal who fought against the First Fleet and the other newcomers to Australia. And we have to sing a yeah. bit of Aboriginal language, which is cool. Yeah, we get to use some Aboriginal instruments. Yeah. Oh yes, the um, in the song Pemulwuy, we use the Aboriginal instrument clapping sticks. And I get to shoot the sticks yes. for that, yeah. Dosh is doing the yeah. sticks. So I'm a chorister, which is the highest level of the performing choir. Yeah. And he's a senior singer. So there's different levels yeah. of show skills and leadership and stuff. Yeah. Yeah. And um, so the way you get to chorister is, well, one, the artistic director or the assistant artistic director needs to be certain that you're mature enough and that you can sight sing well enough and everything. And there are also a range of skills that you have to be able to do. And every second week you get tutored on that. For example, like notes and accord, or like identifying modes yeah. and rhythm clapping. Yeah. Yeah, so there are different ones. Some are more with hearing, some are picking out different notes. Some are simply just being able to recall something and different things. Well, Salzburg is my favourite place so far. I like Leipzig. Yeah. So, yeah, and I like singing with the different choirs because it's um, it, and it's going to be amazing singing with in the, those places that are in those such sacred places. Like, say, we sang in Bach's church and we actually saw Bach's coffin and where he was buried. In fact, we were. When we were doing the performance, when we sat down, we were only a few metres away from him. Yeah. It's, it's not a boarding school. So we rehearse on Mondays and Fridays. Um, from On Mondays it's 4.30 to 6, and on Fridays it's 6.30 to 9 o'clock. Yeah. yeah. But we also have um, little camps sometimes, where which is... We, we have workshops, weekend workshops, where we um, we go on the bus to a camp or somewhere and we just do these things called sing-alongs where, because there are different, there are different like levels in the whole institute, so there's probationer, which is sort of when you are wanting to apply it to the choir, and once you pass, pass probationer, you get to go into tyros, which is like the sort of the bottom le level of the actual institute. Then there's junior singers, and there's senior singers, but whenever and then there's choristers. Yeah. yeah, and then there's Kelly Gang. And Once the choristers console. voice break. Yeah, yeah. So the choristers also, get to go yeah. to. There's Kelly also Gang. something called the Cambiata, which is so when your voice breaks and you're a chorister, you go into the Kelly Gang, which is like your you've completed all your skills and everything, but you need to do a bit more training again because you're training with a new voice, and once you complete that. You um you go into the vocal consort, which is like Kelly Gangers that have properly trained their new voice, and the the cambiata is when they haven't reached chorister yet, but their voice is broken. So because we were losing a lot of members because their voices were breaking, but they weren't in chorister yet, and so they made a new one called the cambiata, which is just sort of training their voices while when they're broken so that they can then go into the Kelly Gang and So recently we've just had a new choir master which is yeah. Mr. Dinopolis. So yeah. Our he's, old he's our, very good. our old choir master Mr. Ansel. I believe he was at the choir for seventy. Seventy years? Somewhere. No, like fifty years. Yeah fifty. <laughs> and um yeah, he it was, he left rather a, a rather a sudden, suddenly, which was quite shocking for quite a few of the members. Mm. and we still haven't quite recovered but the new so Mr. Dinopoulos was the assistant artistic director but now he is the official artistic director and we're still wondering about who's going to be the 
assistant artistic director, but yeah, it's good. Yeah. Hello, uh, my name is Dominic Morelli. I am 15 years old and this is my seventh year in, as part of the Australian Boys Choral Institute. I sing tenor in the uh, teenage group called the Kelly Gang. Hello, my name is James Allpress. I am 13 and I'm in the tenors. I've been in the choir for five years and I sing with them. Uh, I like um, being able to make, like hearing all the parts that blend really nicely together and to hear, make an amazing sound where everybody can be heard and contribute to one wholesome, beautiful sound. That's why I love the most about singing the choir. I like uh, the opportunities the choir gives me to be able to go to wonderful places in the world and to be able to sing with amazing musicians and uh, be, uh, being able to be a part of an amazing group. Uh, this is my second tour. Uh, in 2015, the choir went to New Zealand. Uh, during that tour, I was much smaller and I sang soprano. But uh, I, it's an amazing opportunity and both tours, I assume, will be amazing success. All the New Zealand one was. Yes. Um, this is also my second tour, but the last tour I was at was to Central Australia. Uh, when I was on that tour, I was in the altos and that tour was a great success. So the Kelly Gang is the teenage group for the boys who make it to Chorister after being in the performing choir and uh, after you make it to Chorister you have pretty much finished all your skills training and once your voice uh, changes you go into the teenage group until you finish school and then you go into the vocal consort. Yes. Um, well it was pretty scary on my first day going to the Kelly Gang because I, I wasn't sure what to expect and being so young, I was completely different to all the other kids. Uh, I was still quite tall, and I'm probably one of the taller kids in the Kelly Gang. But it, after a while, I got used to it, and now it, it feels pretty normal. Well, my voice, when it broke, I was sort of annoyed because I wanted to stay in the choir, but I was. I was excited to go to the Kelly Gang. My, the change, the actual transition with my voice wasn't as bad as other kids get. It wasn't, I didn't get many cracks. It sort of just slowly changed over the period of a year. Uh, no, they're not necessarily professional musicians. A lot of them, uh, some of them are professional musicians, but uh, after once you finish school, uh, the, the vocal concert is an audition group where um, boys are um, either uh, chosen or audition to be part of the adult choir uh, and it's after you finish school and uh, a lot of the boys uh, who finish school part of the Kelly Gang and want to go into the vocal console try out and they end up continuing singing with the choir because it's an amazing institute and it's a lot of it's just um, done amazing things for mm -hmm. everybody part of it. Mr. Donopoulos is an amazing uh, teacher who's been with us seen us all go through the choir because he was part of the uh, he was, did some of the junior training and I could not think of a better candidate for the job. I think the Mr. Dinopoulos is exactly what the choir needs to develop and go to the next stage in a choir and although the previous conductor Mr. Ansel was great, it is a fresh start for the choir. Yeah, it's, it's not as often as the uh, soprano and alto rehearsals. It's only once a week for two hours on Sundays at 4.30 to 6.30. Best moment in the tour has probably been sitting with friends and just laughing. Lots of just laughing and talking. And I mean, The singing has been amazing, but being able to just sit down and uh, talk about things that have happened in the past, things that will happen, things that are happening. It's been just amazing to sit down, talk and laugh and grow with my peers. Um, my favourite part was actually when we, were, when we were coming to into Salzburg and we were driving along and the driver said that he was pulling over and we weren't sure what we were doing. We just saw it was a toilet stop and then we get out of the bus and we see a massive mountain and a big blue lake and it was, it was phenomenal. Mm -hmm.